We, we have changed the demography of Auckland in a very uh, short time frame. 12% um, of our community is Chinese ethnic. So let's talk about the increasing presence and face of the Chinese community in Auckland, plus the Asian community. 6% um, is Indian, 2-3% um, to Korean, um, you know, so, and, and uh, for the Philippine community, they're very fast growing. Uh, they're probably about 2 to 3% too. But uh, for, for the fact that there are now 25% of Aucklanders who have an Asian heritage, uh, that has changed uh, from about 5 or 6% 15 to 20 years ago. It has been a very rapid, fast change. If the country, and if, if, if the city, and, and, and this is a national issue, because they're not dissimilar shifts in other parts of the country. If the country and the city was any less tolerant and was any less democratic and welcoming, then we would have a major problem. There would be a problem. And to be fair, we're not perfect. At times, you get the odd comment, recently we've been having some interesting discussions about the prevalence of Chinese buyers in the Auckland property market. But even those discussions have been held against the backdrop of wariness and a respect that maybe 15 or 20 years ago that would definitely not have been there. So I think that as a, a free and democratic country, we are expressing mostly the best that we could in terms of our tolerance and welcome and embrace of people from different cultures. The best way to handle it? Get your kids going to school together. My children, um, the youngest one's still at school, she's at a secondary school in her class, mm, class of 35, mm, six or seven Europeans, uh, probably seven or eight Chinese, specifically Chinese kids, seven or eight Asian, uh, four or five Pacific kids. Um, you know, I mean, it's just yeah, the United Nations. She brings, she, all of her best mates are from all different cultures. They're just mates. They, she, if I would ask her, well, is this child Filipino, is that child Samoa? She got no idea. She might have some idea, but you know, it's not the point. So on the basis that one, we show our children and our grandchildren, that we're by and large the same flesh and blood, slightly different cultural background, and be prepared to be patient around those differences. So long as we show our children that lead, and then our children befriend kids from across the cultural divide as a normal matter of course, then the future of Auckland, no matter what its population, no matter how fast it grows, as a multicultural, multinational uh, city is very good. And, I mean, I'm a guardian. I won't be here forever. The next leaders and the next leaders and the next leaders. I just hope that they have a similar view around how we respect the multicultural nature of our city and see the benefits of it. Not be divided, but be united.